Introduction to Sequences We had been dealing with numbers and number patterns for a long time. You remember in junior classes we had some pattern numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Well, this is just a pattern, a sequence of numbers, right? One after the another. So we start with one and add one each time, right? Then we can have patterns like one, three, five, seven, and so on, correct? These skip one counting, correct? Or you can say a set of odd numbers starting with one. Or you can say start with one and add two each time, correct? Similarly, we could have patterns like 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on, right? Here we say, well, this is a set of numbers where the first number is 1, second is 4, third is 3, fourth is 16, and uh, these are like squares of numbers, right? So all these, such sequences, this such patterns are called sequences. And they can be actually written as a function also. For example, we can write a function here. We say f of n equals to n square minus 1. Now, here, where n belongs to set of natural numbers. I hope you remember natural numbers. So what are natural numbers? Natural numbers are numbers which are like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, right? Natural numbers don't include 0, right? They are positive whole numbers. Okay. So, if we define a function like this, where the domain is set of natural numbers, then we call that set as a sequence. So, it is important to know that the sequences are functions whose domain is a subset of natural numbers. Correct? So if the set belongs to natural numbers, then it is a sequence. So that is kind of a uh, definition of a sequence. Okay? So we can say that sequence is a function whose domain is set of or we can say subset of natural numbers. Right? So that is. And whenever, for example, we have this function fn equals to n square minus 1, if we plug in different values of n, then we will get different values of n square minus 1, correct? So the domain here becomes the values which we give to f of n, the natural numbers, right? So, and the values which we get are the part of range, right? So if I write this as a sequence, then what I can do is I can write the outputs as for different values of n. So let us say that for different values of n starting from 1, we get first term. So let me make a table here to show you what I'm trying to do. So what we will do here is, so we have a function here and our function f of n is equals to n square minus 1, right? And what we will do is, we'll give n some values. For example, if we write n as 1, then what do we get? We get n square minus 1, which is 0. If I write n as 2, we get n square minus 1, which is 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. If I write n as 3, then 3 squared is 9, 9 minus 1 is 8. And if I write n as 4, 4 squared is 16, 16 minus 1 is 15, and so on. Correct? Then, this set of numbers, 0, 3, 8, 15, and so on, 
forms a sequence, right? And here, each output is called the term. So these are all the different terms of our sequence. So these numbers individually, they are called the terms and they have a position value. In a sequence, the most important thing is their position value. So we call this as T1, term, first term. We call this as T2, the second term. We will call this as T3, the third term. This will be called T4, the fourth term. And in general, we'll call a term Tn, which will be nth term. Okay, so there are so many terms. A sequence may have limited number of terms. We, we call that as a finite sequence. Or it may have unlimited or infinite number of terms. Then we'll call it as an infinite sequence. Now, association of these values with the term numbers is very important. So if we, when we say, what is the value of the first term? So we say, well, the value of the first term here is 0. So the term number is 1 and term value is 0. Okay, Term number is 2 and term value is 3 here. Term number is 3 and the value of the third term is 8 here. So that is how we have to see a sequence. This relation between the term number and term value helps us to figure out a formula like this for the function. So sometimes we may have to do the back calculation. We are given a sequence and what we need to find is a general formula which could represent or a function which could represent that sequence. So that is the most important aspect and kind of difficult at times which we will be interested in doing, right? In nature, you see so many sequences and patterns. Now we study like this, then we figure out what kind of function could relate to those patterns, right? And it can give us, reveal a lot of information about many aspects. So it's a very important topic. Now, I hope you understand these terms here. So sequence is a set of numbers in a particular order, which could be defined by a function, right? Where the domain of the function is natural numbers. That is important. And all these outputs will be the range of the function, correct? And then each element, these are different elements of our sequence. Each element in a sequence is given a term number. The first element, the second element, the third element, and it is written like this. T subscript of 4 will mean fourth term. T with subscript n will mean nth term. So these are the term numbers, right? T1, T2, T3, T4, and so on. Their corresponding value is the term value. So when I say what is the value of second term for this given function, it will be 3. Right? So these are the things which you need to understand so, so that we can move on with some more complicated examples on sequence. Okay? So I hope you understand what a sequence is, what a term is, what is a term number, and also understand that sequences could be finite or infinite because a set of natural numbers could be infinite, right? So you can keep on adding, plugging in different values of n and churning out the outputs. And thereby, the domain and range is not really restricted. So there are infinite number of elements in our domain and range, right? Sometimes we can have restrictions. So we could have finite or infinite sequences, correct? And with this, we'll move on and do some examples to figure out if we are given a function, how to find a sequence. If we are given a sequence, how to find the function for it. Okay? Thank you.